Hello, everyone. God's blessing for each and every one of us as we enter the year 2021. I'm Barry Schick, the current president of St. John's Lutheran Church here in Vernon. Whether you are new to visiting our service or a regular attendee, we welcome you. Our wish is for all of us to enjoy a message of peace and hope, of comfort and joy as we worship together. The past is exactly that past. And the future is God's domain. So let us live in the present, knowing that we are blessed every day by him who has given us all things, including and especially our Savior Jesus Christ. Let's begin this new year with Christ leading the way, knowing that he is in control of everything, everything that will happen this year, always with hope, and comfort. Always with joy and peace. Happy New Year. Our first worship song this morning is Come Thou Almighty King. Please join in. church calendar, this is the second Sunday of Christmas. Now I saw in our ears that sounds odd, but if you think about the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, December 25th is the first one. Well, here we are. This is the second Sunday of Christmas. It also happens to be the first Sunday in a new year. So, Happy New Year. And uh, I know it's easy for you to roll your eyes at that after the last year we've had. I'm sure we're pretty much all ready to put behind us many of the experiences of 2020. Though let's not forget some beautiful and wonderful good ones too. But we gather this day, not just as those that, who are ready to put 2020 behind us, we gather this day to celebrate a new year as people of faith, as we celebrate every day as a new day, 
every day a new beginning through our faith in God and the new life that is ours through the child born to Mary and Joseph and you and me and the world for unto us a child is given. Unto us a son is born and the government shall be upon his shoulders and we gather this day knowing it is and that he has all authority in heaven and on earth. And so we gather this day to celebrate a new year and the beginning of this year and the opening up of all the opportunities that we can look forward to just as surely as every day we can wake up to a new day and look forward to the opportunities that await us knowing God is with us. Jesus is with us. The Father loves us and the Holy Spirit is in us. Knowing all of this through the love of God in Christ, which nothing can separate us from. I appreciate the wisdom of the assigned reading for New Year's Eve, which you're going to hear in a little bit, so that we can gather this day. To celebrate a new year, looking forward to being ready to open up ourselves to all the opportunities they await us in this new year and today. Knowing neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, not powers, not height, not depth, not anything else in all creation, can separate us from the love of God, which is ours in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So, we begin this new year. Celebrating God's love with us in Jesus, with us in our humanity as we celebrate it at Christmas. This love in Jesus that makes known to us God, our Father who loves us, a Son who has become one with us in our humanity and loves us in our humanity and welcomes us into the family as children of God. And the Holy Spirit who incarnates love into us. The Holy Spirit that we receive from the child born of Mary. So we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in 2021. Happy New Year to you, Manzo. Hooray for the New Year. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Judah. Yeah? What's so special about New Year? Anyway, hey, what's so special about New? Hmm. That's a good question, Manzo. Hmm. I think we get excited about New because it's fresh and shiny. So we go forward with a different outlook, something to look forward to. And it means the past is behind us, and we start fresh with a new outlook and new hope. Oh, I see. You know, sometimes when I have been selfish or when I got angry, I feel really bad. And I guess a new year is a chance to do things better. I'll say. Um, the Bible tells us that we who belong to Christ are a new creation. The old is gone, the new is here. And oh. we've got all the help we need. Oh, that's good news. So I don't have to wait until New Year to celebrate newness? That's right. Huh? God's mercy, it says, is new every morning. What does that mean? I think it means that I can experience God's love and kindness in fresh ways every day. Every day we can be forgiven for past mistakes, and every day we can live our lives in new ways. Wow! I feel like God has put 
a new song in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> and so the Bible tells me. <laughs> oh, yes, and it's true in my heart, too. I want to sing from the mountaintops and share with others how God gives new life. Well, there's no better time than this new day and in this new year to tell others this good news. The Bible says that God says, Look, I'm making all things new. <laughs> well, that's new to me. I'm glad you can teach me new things, old friend. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, me too. I'm glad we're old friends. Manzo, I'm looking forward to new adventures together. Hooray! Hooray! Happy it's a happy new, new year! year. The first reading of God's Holy Word appointed for today is taken from Romans chapter 8, verses 31b to 39. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own Son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all good things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. But no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor, nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This ends the first reading of God's Word. And the second reading appointed for our hearing is taken from the 28th chapter of the Gospel recorded by Matthew, verses 1 to 6, 8, where we revisit the resurrection of Jesus Christ before we skip to verses 16 and 20, where we hear again the great commission Jesus gave us before he ascended into heaven. Now, after the Sabbath, towards the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, as he said. Now we skip to the end of the chapter. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This ends the second reading of God's Word. Thank you.
What are your dreams for 2021? Through faith in God's goodness and the baby Jesus, may you be set free to dream good dreams. What are your fears for 2021? Through faith in God's forgiveness and love and Jesus crucified, may you be set free from your fears to live in God's goodness every day. What are your resolutions for 2021? Through faith in God's power in Jesus, risen from the dead, may you be set free in God's forgiveness and love to be energized to do all the good that God has prepared you for. What are you waiting for in 2021? I know waiting is a theme we typically associate with Advent, but this year with the entire world waiting to get back to normal, I think it is good as people of faith to take a moment and think beyond just getting back to normal. So I invite you you and me to take a moment now and think about, as a person of faith, what does getting back to more than normal, beyond normal, look like for me? Certainly, Getting back to freely visiting and socializing and traveling is a good thing. And certainly it is a good thing that as people of faith, we can anticipate that God has far more goodness in mind than we could ever anticipate. Just look at the birth of Jesus that we have just celebrated. People of faith were waiting with expectation for God to keep his promise to send a Messiah. But the Messiah coming, begotten of the Father's love, the Word of God that was with God in the beginning, becoming a human being, this is a goodness beyond anything anyone anticipated or dreamed, as was or rather is, his dying to show his Father's love and rising from the dead to offer to all people everlasting life in his Father's love to all who believe in him. This is a life away beyond just getting back to normal. And in the Gospel reading today, we hear Jesus, risen with all authority in heaven and on earth, calling us to share this life and promising to be with us so that we can. So here is something particularly sweet we can look forward to in 2021. We can wait for God to show us the good he has for someone that needs this good in his or her life. As I was thinking about what am I waiting for in 2021 that's more than just getting back to normal, I, this would be an answer to that. I'm waiting for me to become more forward in sharing the goodness of God that I know in Christ. Well, I share it with you easily enough, but I'm talking about with people that I'm bumping into or living amongst. And this, to be able to do so simply by waiting for God to, to show me, help me see, or help me hear something good that, that this, this one really needs to see or hear. That's a really sweet waiting. A sweet waiting we can do in the hope that is ours and the one 
but we can't even begin to anticipate all the good that he has planned. Let's pray. God, we start 2021 anticipating your promises, knowing you will keep them, and that often you will do so in wonderful ways we could never anticipate. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear the good you have for us to share. Help us grow in waiting for this, and when it comes, to share it with love, your love, and the promise of everlasting life in your love for all who believe in Jesus, your Son, Mary's child, our Lord. Amen. alone my hope is found he is my light my strength my song this cornerstone this solid ground firm through the fiercest drought and storm what heights of love what depths of peace when fears are still when striving cease my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand. Under Pilate, here's 
crucified and he died, descended to the dead. On the third day rose again, ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again to judge living and dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, Holy Christian Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, and we will rise again, we'll live forevermore. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, worthy to be held in reverence by all the children of men, we give you humble and hearty thanks for the innumerable blessings which, without any merit or worthiness on our part, you have bestowed on us. We praise you especially that you have preserved for us your saving word and the holy sacraments. And we implore you, O Lord, to grant and preserve to your holy church throughout the world purity of doctrine and faithful pastors to preach your word with power. Help all who hear the word rightly to understand and truly to believe it. Send laborers into your harvest and open the door of faith to those who do not know you. In mercy, remember the enemies of your church and grant them repentance to life. Protect and defend your church in all tribulation and danger. Strengthen us and all fellow Christians to set our hope fully on the grace revealed in Christ and help us to fight the good fight of faith that in the end we may receive the salvation of our souls. Bestow your grace on all nations of the earth. Bless especially our country and its inhabitants and all who are in authority. Let your glory dwell in our land that mercy and truth, righteousness and peace may everywhere abound. We commend to you the care of all our schools and ask you to grant that our children may grow in useful knowledge and Christian virtue and bring forth wholesome fruits of life. Graciously defend us from all calamity by fire and water, from war and pestilence, from scarcity and famine, and from every other evil. Protect and prosper everyone in his rightful calling, and let all useful arts flourish among us. Be the God and Father of the widow and the fatherless, the helper of the sick and needy, and the comforter of the forsaken and distressed. Merciful Father, whose dear Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, rose the victor over death and the grave, we pray for those that we said goodbye to this past year, and whom we name in our hearts before you now. Jonathan, Paul, others. We remember with thanksgiving your faithful people who have trusted in Christ, whose tears now are gone and whose sorrows you have turned to joy. God of all creation, in these strange times of online services and recorded prayers, we also pray for needs and events that have taken place since these prayers were prepared. For blessings received, for tragedies suffered, for surprises and challenges we could not have imagined. And we pause also to name names and recall events of this past Christmas season. And we place these as well into your loving hands. 
Finally, as we are strangers and pilgrims on earth, help us by true faith and a godly life to prepare for the world to come, doing the work you have given us to do while it is day, before the night comes when no one can work. And when our last hour comes, support us by your power and receive us into your heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And please join with me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I love starting 2021 with this picture. Jesus, of the Father's love begotten, promises us, his students, his disciples, he has all authority in heaven and on earth. So we know that whatever comes in 2021, wherever we go, he's already there. Whatever comes in 2021, wherever you go, Jesus is already there with all authority in heaven and on earth. And so we go, knowing the best New Year commitment, the best New Year resolution that we can make for a happy New Year is to follow Jesus to be his students, to seek to learn every day from him about life that is truly life, about our relationship with God, and even, really, our relationship with ourself through the grace and truth that are in Christ. We follow Jesus as his students with our actions and words, inviting people to join us in learning from Jesus, being fellow students with us about the love of God and the life that God desires all people to have as his children. We follow Jesus praying, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What a crazy, wonderful, bold prayer to go with peace, comfort, joy, love, hope for the opportunities for life that is truly life that our Father in heaven has already prepared for us. The opportunities for life that is truly life that our Father in heaven has already prepared for you. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace and hope and comfort and joy and love and a happy new year in 2021.
trust in you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Whom you love, I'll love. How you serve, I'll serve. In this life, I lose. I will follow you, yeah, I will follow you, yeah. Light into the world, light into my life, I will live for you alone. You're the one I seek, knowing I will find all I need in you alone. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Whom you love, I'll love. How you serve, I'll serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. Yeah, I will follow you. Yeah. In you there's life everlasting. In you there's freedom for my soul, in you there's joy, and in me joy. And I will follow you, where you go I'll go, where you stay I'll stay, when you move I'll move, I will follow you, whom you love I'll love, how you serve I'll serve, if this life I lose. I will follow where you go, I'll go, where you stay, I'll stay, when you move, I'll move, I will follow you, whom you love, I'll love, how you serve, I'll serve, if this life I lose.